a setup on the Craig fence for resawing. There's a backstop right here, and it's got a curved surface on it so that you can feed the wood into it. And then I've got a line scribed right here, as you can see. I can follow that line simply by angling the board back and forth a few degrees. Uh, that way, I don't have to worry about the drift or the lead on the blade. If the blade wants to pull to one side or the other, I can follow it with, uh, by simply moving the board back and forth. One problem, though, as I find, is that sometimes, especially when the uh, stock gets a little narrow, it wants to kick out here at the bottom and you get a tapered cut. To prevent that, I put a feather board right here. I'm going to adjust this feather board to put pressure on the wood ahead of the fence. It's going to keep the wood from kicking out at the bottom, okay? But it's not going to press against the, the cut as it exits the blade, and uh, I won't risk pinching the wood together and so pinching the blade. Let me show you. Nice smooth cut, and I can still angle the wood back and forth uh, as I want, as I need to. Uh, just putting a little bit of, and I have a little more pressure to put now because I've got that feather board there. There are times when you need a little bit more feather board than what I've got right here. Uh, for example, my next uh, task is to uh, slice off some parts of this uh, uh, Brazilian rosewood, and this is going to take the whole capacity that I've got here. This is uh, nearly six inches wide. On this, uh, I probably will want to put pressure all along the backstop. And for that, I've developed this jig right here. As you can see, I've taken four feather boards, stacked them up, mounted them on a board so that I can mount this board right here on the bandsaw table. Put on one clamp in back here. Press it in against the wood. And another clamp on the front. Once again, I'm positioning these feather boards so they press the wood against the backstop just before, just before it gets to the, the saw blade. It's working pretty well, but there's quite a bit of pressure, so probably I'd like to kick this out just a bit this way so that I can uh, manipulate the wood a little easier. That's going to be that's going to be much better. I'm Nick Angler, director of the ShopSmith National Woodworking Academy, and we have plenty of video shop tips to show you just like this. I uh, hope to see you there sometime. Come visit. At ShopSmith's website, you'll find dozens of free videos on all kinds of woodworking projects from preparing lumber to applying a finish. Twice a month we webcast a two-hour SAWDA session where you can ask questions and get woodworking help right over your computer. To find out more, come visit us at shopsmith.com.